Whenever I see someone who's crying over Cam, and let's face it, who hasn't cried over Cam, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. And when someone needs encouragement, I simply give encouragement. I know, I know exactly what they need. And even in this case, get some caffeine and pay attention. Don't worry, I'm determined to help you follow my lead. And yes, you will be a chemist. You're gonna be a chemist. I'll show you how to do this one problem. Little steps along the way. Ooh, I'll show you reagents to use, intermediates. Everything you need to get you from A to B. I'll help you get through. We'll start off with some benzene, end up with this thing I won't waste time pronouncing So let's start, cause it's not an awfully long way to go One of bromine and aluminum tribromine Gives you bromopentine to add sodium and mid And ammonia to give you aniline Save it for later, now take bromopentine Then hit it with magnesium Step four is formaldehyde. Step five, you add water so it protonates. And now you've got benzyl alcohol. Oxidize with PCC, it's become benzaldehyde. La la la. We're so close to the end. When you see a carbonyl super close to aniline, I'll remind you on your own behalf to think of reductive amination, an especially useful reaction. Hot and sodium cyanoborohydride. Now you can relax. We're done. Yep. We finished the synthesis. It's all about how you use your reaction sheet given to us by debris. Very, very useful indeed. I hope I have kept your interest with this small book problem. But mostly for me, my rekindled love of chemistry. La la la, love of chemistry. Just hope it doesn't die out in.